start. Yo, uh, what's up? So, I found the solution to a problem I was trying to solve for a long time. I'll first um, write the problem on the board and then I'll um, talk about the like physical meaning and you can also skip to the mathematical part of how I solve it. And it's rather difficult, so I'll use my notes this time and I hope I get it right. Um, I'll maybe also upload my notes because it's, um, it could be a, a long one. But um, yeah, let's have a look at the Handel Maya integral. So this is a mu, this is the Greek letter for m. So there's mu, there's mu, there's rho, this is r, this is n, this is m. And then there's pi, that's like the p, so this is not p, it's r, this is p. So mu of m equals to the integral of m1 till m2 of the square root of m squared minus 1 over 1 plus um, k minus 1 over 2 times m squared um, integrated with respect to m um, over m. So this has the analytical solution um, square root of kappa plus 1 over kappa minus 1 times the inverse tangent. You, you might also write this as tangent to the minus 1, but you could confuse that with like 1 over tangent, so um, I prefer this notation of um, the square root of kappa minus 1 over kappa plus 1 times m squared minus 1. Um, you sometimes define this as lambda if you do aerodynamics, but that shouldn't be too important for us now. Minus the inverse tangent of um, the square root of lambda again, so m squared minus 1 uh, from m1 till m2. Um, now, this is also a Greek letter, this is kappa, that's like a Greek uh, k, and um, let's maybe have a look at what this is. This looks really weird. Um, we have uh, kappa, that's the sometimes also written as um, gamma, that is like the relation of um, the uh, specific um, yeah, specifische um, Wärme coefficient um, with constant pressure over CV, that is like constant specific volume or constant density and for air um, this is roughly 1.4 so that's kappa here um, then we have m m is the Mach number if you um, use that in aeronautics um, and it is defined as um, the velocity of the fluid over the velocity of sound. So this can also depend on the temperature and everything, but um, usually this is the speed of sound and this is the speed of the fluid. So if you have like fluid with the velocity u and then you have something that's being hit by um, the fluid, you could have like uh, exp um, air like compression um, and this is where it could change um, its Mach number. So um, this determines if we're subsonic or supersonic, like faster than the speed of sound or slower than the speed of sound. Um, so that's the Mach number. Um, now we have A, that's just the um, speed of sound. Uh, and um, yeah, already.
already talked about lambda. So now um, this is the integral and we can maybe write this in a more um, general way that also makes it easier to write with like this term here. We could just write it as um, integral of, so I'll use x instead of m, x to the power of m. So here m is equal to two. It's nothing to do with the mass um, minus one over, and I'll use b instead of kappa minus one over two. So it's one plus b times x to the m dx over x. So um, maybe let's keep this um, as like a little note to the side. m equals two, x equals capital M, b is uh, kappa minus one over two, three fourths I think. Yeah, so this looks something where we wanna get rid of this. Um, d, yeah, um, numerator, I think. So let's try a substitution. Um, maybe something smart with the square root. So, I mean, I, I did it and I know how to do it, so I'm not going to pretend that it's, uh, yeah, you just have to know how it goes. Um, so it's x to the power of m minus 1. And then the square root, we call that u. So that's our substitution. And now we can rewrite this in terms of x. So we can differentiate it a bit easier. Um, this is a uh, square both sides. x to the m minus 1 equals u squared. Now let's bring the 1 to the other side. It's just like that. So now we can take the first um, derivative of that. Um, this is just deriving a polynomial um, m to the heck, m times x to the m minus one dx. Can, can you read that? Yeah, okay. Um, equals uh, two u du. Um, this is the substitution that we're going to use, and now we can bring this. Um, x to the m and then we have x to the minus one which is nothing but um, one over x like use it like that and then bring that on the other side so this is how, how we deal with this uh, here um, yeah let's plug this um, in I think I'm gonna continue writing here so this is our integral now um, we use the substitution. This is m as a function of x, x is a function of u, so I'm just gonna use this as like the um, symbol for the whole integral. Um, don't get too confused that it's in terms of uh, capital M. Um, yeah, sorry. Um, maybe we do a little step in between that. We say uh, this, is one thing and then if we bring this to the other side it's dx over x equals um, 2u du over x to the m times m and you can't really have this in an integral because it's in terms of two variables so let's express x to the m like this it's just u squared plus 1. This is what we're going to use. And now we're going to plug this in here. Um, let's do that now. Um, the integral of u over 1 plus um, b times u squared plus 1. And now the part we just did, 2u du over m times u squared plus 1. Um, 
this is what we're going to integrate now and we have two um, fractions we can maybe rewrite this a little bit so we have 2 over m here um, we can take that out because it's just a constant this is not the mass this is just a degree of the polynomial um, u over 1 plus b times u squared plus 1 um, over u so this makes u squared and then we have um, the other fraction that is just m times u squared plus 1 that we took the m out so this should be it um, now let's do um, partial fraction decomposition um, do that over here it's actually not that difficult it's just a lot of writing and if you know how to do it you can just do it yourself and it's probably easier and maybe I make a mistake but yeah let's try to focus um, so this is just multiplying everything out and um, this is how we start with our partial fraction decomposition we want to um, how much are we on time? Um, 12 minutes. Okay, so um, we start with a um, polynomial that's, um, that has this denumerator. Um, and then we take another that is another, and that's this one. So we have both of these decomposed in two um, fractions, and now we want to find these coefficients. So um, we'll multiply by this whole term that gives us, um, like it cancels out on this side, so that's how we engineer it. And then we have a times the other one, like u squared plus 1 plus b times um, 1 plus b plus b u squared. And now let's um, write this in terms of u squared and in terms of constants. So we have u squared times a um, plus b capital B um, plus, and now this is the other constant that's just a times 1. So a um, plus b plus b capital B. And now this equation must be the same. So we can compare the coefficients of u squared and the coefficients of this um, constant here and here's like 0 plus u squared so let's first have a look at u squared u squared um, has the coefficient 1 equals um, a plus bb so we can express a in terms of capital B it's just um, 1 minus B capital B. Now we can look at the constants. Um, 0 equals um, A plus capital B plus BB and now we have this expression for B so it's 1 minus BB. This cancels out and we can bring this uh, on the other side so we get B equals minus 1. Now we can plug this in here. So we have 1 plus B. Just quickly have a look if that's correct. Yes, it is. So we get um, 1 plus B over 1 plus B plus B U squared minus 1 over u squared plus 1 and we know if we want to integrate this um, we get just the inverse tangent I already did a video to that and I'll put it in the uh, description so let's head back over to the integration b uh, <laughs> we've got the constant vector 
um, times the integral and now we use our decomposition um, 1 plus v over the difficult part and then uh, we can just write another integral so let's write another integral because we now want to integrate this already um, 1 over x squared plus 1 du um, and now this here is just the inverse tangent of u um, and now let's have a look at the other part I'll um, because I have to write less just give it a new name so this here is our um, it's not an i it's a 2 <laughs> now let's have a look at 2 um, basically the most interesting stuff has already happened we just do the integral of 1 plus v over 1 plus v plus v u squared um, du uh, v is just a constant and now I'll we already quite long on time so I'll just write down how you do um, the math magic to get this in form of um, 1 over 1 plus um, a constant times x squared so you can integrate it as inverse tangent um, bear with me or skip this step um, <laughs> square root of v plus 1 over square root of p plus 1 so we're just multiplying with 1 um, that doesn't change the integral but it really helps us um, later so you'll, you'll hopefully see what I did there Read this. Yeah. Okay. Um, so now I'll distribute um, the this one and this one in the integral and cancel that out down here and use uh, the other one as well you'll hopefully understand what's happening it's just not that interesting to comment and then I don't want to make a mistake So now we should be done with this part and we have um, a factor um, here and then u and this is 1 this is also just a factor and we integrate this in terms of u so let's um, remember this here and that and I'll write down the real function down here um, we get 2 over m m is the degree of a polynomial which is just 2 in our case so it'll cancel out later um, now we get this one here is just a constant over 1 plus a constant time x squared and integrated it's just um, the inverse tangent of times the constant of and then you can 
use the substitution with the D here. So you get this over D, and yeah, I'll just write it down. Just take the time and try to do it yourself, and then you'll understand. Um, a of D times U of A state of D plus 1. Now, the other part that we already did five minutes ago. Um, this U. And now we use, um, we, we, we substitute U equals square root of x to the m minus 1 for a troposound. And um, then we get uh, 2 over m square root of d plus 1 over square root of d times inverse tangent. That'll be a bit of writing. Writing isn't getting too bad. All right, so now let's um, plug in m equals x. Let's use the degree of our polynomial is two, and um, d. The constant is. Um, is Entropen exponent minus one over two. So um, these ones all cancel out because it's just one. And um, I'll write it down. This here is just 2 over 2. And then we can cancel all the 2s. And it's just kappa minus 1 plus 2, or kappa plus 1. Um, square root of this bit of writing. This is just easier if you do it on your own, but. Um, yeah, I don't want to skip anything, to be honest. Evaluated from M1 till M2. So let's have a look at the final solution. I already said it here. Just the square root of kappa plus 1 over kappa minus 1 in this tangent of square root. This all cancels out. We have kappa minus 1 over kappa, this is just plus 1, times lambda, or max number squared minus 1. Um, then we get another inverse tangent um, just with lambda, square root of lambda. All right, and if we want to find the solution for um, a new Mach number, um, we only have to know the old one and then we can look it up in the table. And this is the analytical solution for um, this integral. That's the mathematical um, generalization that I solved with a substitution and a partial fraction decomposition. Um, yeah.
yeah, I hope you follow everything and you learn something. Um, it was really fun trying to find out how to solve this. Um, when I first saw it in my uh, Aerodynamics 2 lecture, um, the Pandemeyer integral was introduced maybe 100 years ago or something and is still very important and interesting and good to study. Um, thanks for watching. Have a nice evening.